Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. Joining me is Sri Delhi R. Rajagopalan and a lot happening in Delhi and around the country and we're going to give you a bird's eye view of all the hot items that are taking place in and around as well as some surprise new items that you perhaps are not even aware of. So let's first welcome the guest of the day, Sri R. Rajagopalan. Rajagopalan sir, Namaskaram and welcome to P. Namaskaram, Guru's channel. Namaskaram sir. Thank you for inviting me to your show and I will definitely be answering to a lot of your you know, uh, thought-provoking questions. I have four interesting uh, crepe wine scoop for your viewers sir. And for knowing that you'll have to wait till the very end because he's not going to open his mouth until we are going to come to the end of the program. Yeah, we are very selfish. We would like you to visit and watch this program till the very end. So as soon as you start watching this program, please like. I know some of you say, wait, I'll be the decider of whether I like a video or not. You don't tell me to like it. But here is a man who has spent 45, 50 years in journalism. He knows just about every brick in the parliament building. What is not to like about Sri Rajagopalanji? Tell me. Thank so. Thank you. <laughs> Let's let us start with all the storm in the teacup that the Indian National Congress Party's various committee appointments have been. The story is that neither Priyanka nor Rahul have found a place in any of these committees. Rajagopalanji, what is going on? How do how dare they leave them out? <laughs> Namaskaram to Pete Guru viewers and to Mr. C. Ayer. My starting comment would be, sir, Congress party is in a great internal crisis. Yesterday, Prime Minister, when he was in Rajasthan, he said Congress is a dead wood. Indirectly, he mentioned that. As you asked me, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi are not in AACC committees. Does it mean that Mr. Mallikarjan Karge is getting stronger and stronger? Answer is no. There is a, you know, Shashi Tharoor, Jairam Ramesh fight. KC Venugopal fight. So therefore, Congress is only reduced to Karnataka and Kerala. It should be not AACC, it should be AKK. All India Congress Committee, Karnataka and Kerala. See, because, you know, <laughs> it's only fight between Jairam Ramesh, Shashi Tharoor, Mallikarjan Karge, uh, KC Venugopal. What is this, sir? Congress, where sir, is it? Do not you, India? Sir, do you think Jairam Ramesh even won a class monitor election? He was much closer to Chinese uh, Huawei during his Tata, uh, you know, uh, research, uh, uh, you know, uh, employee. My understanding is coming to the real uh, uh, Jairam Ramesh cannot win one college schools master school examinations or uh, leadership elections. That is pakka. That is why he is in Rajya Sabha, and Congress is reduced to Rajya Sabha only. Lok Sabha the katham ho gaye, finished. Oh, Rahul sorry. and Priyanka oh. Gandhi are not included in ACC committees. There is a strong demand for their inclusion, but Rahul Gandhi is keen to do one more Bharat Jodo Yatra from south to uh, north. He went now east to west. He is going like in August. Congress party is facing an internal crisis. This crisis will explode at the you know All India Congress Committee meeting to be held in Raipur on the, you know end of this week. Shashi Tharoor is a now a star. S12 G23 group, he got 1000 votes during the presidential election. Now, politics is opening up in Congress. There is an immense internal fight between Mallikarjan Karge and the ACC uh, no, leader and Shashi Tharoor. Interestingly, Karge has nominated Ms. Shashi Tharoor as a member of the organizing committee. Now, things are there are six or seven important committees for Congress, uh, you know, political session where they are going to have a formulation of drafting committee of the uh, political resolution, electional ministry's performance and this report. And they are going to have a series of you know discussions. So coming to the point, sir, Congress, can, you know, very interestingly, many of the P Guru viewers know there are you know three or four state governments for Congress out of 27, 28. They have reduced to zero now in the organization style. 28 states, they don't have organization. No MPs in eight Hindi belt area. Day before yesterday, interesting thing happened. Many of your viewers may know. Rajasthan chief minister came to the assembly. 
with a big box in his hand budget hmm. and he read the budget of 2017 and 18 not 20 23 24 and it caused a major embarrassment for government rajasthan government should have resigned and yesterday prime minister when he was in dausa he mentioned this people forget to read the new budget they read the old budget so therefore congress is in a crisis sachin pilot distributed sweets to many of the mlas after this incident sir there is a song uh, featuring pran daru ki botal mein chahe pani bharta hai fir na kehna michael daru pi ke danga karta hai so <laughs> somebody very cleverly changed lines of this <laughs> and put gehlot in between all the stuff they say that he hits the bottle pretty hard i don't know i don't want to say anything but at the same time i'm amused that sachin pilot is distributing sweets i mean ah, he distributed you, sweets you, you, he distributed sir, sweets so that was coming to the real crux of the congress sir the congress did not uh, do well in the in, you know ongoing current parliament session rahul gandhi stood up and said 47 times he took adani's name not even one time president uh, um, draupadi murmu's name who came to the parliament to address the joint session and this gentleman called Rahul Gandhi was not present when she addressed this uh, you know, house only his mother was present his mother does not come in nutshell I tell you 2024 election Narendra Modi will ensure as he ensured in 2014 Congress Mukh Bharat only 44 seats in 2024 please mark my words it is not an astrology it is not a you know soothsaying 2024 lok sabha election will ensure gandhi mukt lok sabha sonia oh, gandhi uh, is not going to contest right and rahul gandhi will be defeated in vayanad as you know he was defeated by smriti rani in amethi this uh, priyanka gandhi if she contests she will be defeated and the other two Gandhis in the BJP, one is Varun Gandhi, another is Menaka Gandhi. They are not going to be given tickets. Therefore, 2024 Narendra Modi will ensure Gandhi Mukt Lok Sabha. Wow, in, that's, in, that's in, a prediction. Uh, that, uh, Rajagopalan prediction. prediction, yes. Rajagopalan prediction was also true. After Arun Nehru, there is Nehru Mukt Lok Sabha. That is what <laughs> Prime Minister mentioned in the Lok Sabha. Your father, your grandfather's name was Jawaharlal Nehru. Why you put Rahul Gandhi? He should have been Rahul Nehru. So therefore, Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Nehru, Rahul, there are two Nehru's, uh, Rahul Gandhi's, he said. One is Rahul Nehru, another is Rahul Gandhi. So both Gandhi's will be nowhere in the parliament political scenario in 2024. That is what Modi is aiming at. I am giving you a scoop. I am giving you a major inside information. Well, yeah, I hope your words come true, sir. Although I would like to see Varun Gandhi. I think he is becoming collateral damage and all this. My two and cents, he may sir. join Samajwadi Party. He may join. That is what now the BJP is resigning by end of this year or he will be sacked. Well, uh, well, we'll see how that plays out. Now, James Bond or Ajit Doha, he had come to United <laughs> States. He had come to United Kingdom. He went to Russia. Looks like he also went to Germany. What is this new thing I'm hearing, sir? Sir, it's, it's a scoop for P Guru viewers. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. He is going to hold talks with German counterpart Jeans Plonter. I cannot pronounce his name. Sorry for that. And you know, this is ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's bilateral summit with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. While on an official confirmation is still awaited, Modi is expected to host German Chancellor for a meeting on February 25th. Polters is new foreign and security advisor to the German Chancellor. He is expected to review bilateral cooperation and exchange views on global and regional issues, including Ukraine conflict. And you know, that is what is speculated. India and Germany remain closely engaged on the issues of Ukraine and share concerns about the humanitarian crisis in the country. Germany has also been showing understanding of India's position on Russia while emphasizing, along with India, 
that the contemporary global order has been built on the UN Charter, international law and respect of, uh, you know, respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the states. Modi and Scholes are expected to focus on destabilizing effect of Ukraine conflict and their global implications. Not the least to be very precise, Mr. Ayer, I would like to say there are fuel and food shortages in Ukraine. In their upcoming meeting, they are going to discuss these things. Ahead of the summit, Mr. Doval had a meeting with Pronter. Will discuss the ways and had discussed the you know uh, many issues. I am giving you a very very inside information, Mr. Ayer. That is what I heard from the NSA Secretariat and also Ministry of External Affairs. There yeah. is a possibility, sir, by end of this month, the Ukraine conflict is zeroing in on a particular path that Narendra Modi may use his you know good offices whether he flies to Russia to meet Mr. Putin or to ensure sitting in Delhi through Mr. Ajit Doval he has traveled eight countries today in the in the past uh, uh, seven uh, six or seven days what does it mean? Yes. He taken yes. he has taken a lot of personal letters of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the world leaders. So, so they clearly India is trying to make to play the part of an emissary to try and solve this conflict, right? And and US also has given yesterday, US spokesperson, the Security Council spokesperson has also you know come out very uh, elaborately. So things are uh, taking a very, very, very interesting shape. The German part of NSCS meeting is very interesting. Things are panning out. By end of this year, end of this month, you will get a good news about Ukraine. That is what I could, uh, you know, summarize. And that is a story for our viewers, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Now, let us take a look at what is happening next. Now, um, we have been seeing a lot of gubernatorial appointments. And sure enough, Mr. Ravi is not going to be moved from Tamil Nadu. <laughs> and uh, Tamil Sai Sundar Rajan also is staying put in Telangana. Now, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, once uh, a few episodes ago, we did a report card of the 39 MPs, including yes, Pondicherry. Yes. One is, I think, ADMK. Or maybe yes, we can yes. just say 39 of Tamil Nadu. Ah, yes, yes. I heard that you have compiled a report card for all of them, sir. How is it going? The 39 MPs performance hailing from Tamil Nadu. If I said in a in a nutshell for the viewers of P Gurus, their performance is not that much appreciable, sir. Never. They did not fight for Tamil rights, especially the Sri Lankan Hamman Tota. They should have raised it in Parliament as we broke the story. We keep tom toming about it because you know it's a world scoop. But DMK ignored it. The Thambantota YW5 ship of Chinese spy ship was only to aim at in gathering intelligence like, you know, uh, our uh, Sri Harikota and other, you know, uh, agencies, what we are now doing. Similarly, they kept a balloon in your place. I know it's a, either balloon or spy ship. These things should have been, as a national security, they should have been discussed in the parliament. Instead of that, whenever there is a, you know, airport expansion or GVR, Ambani, Adani, whatever that, Dayari Vimaran always jumps that Tatas, Tatas, Tatas. He has an aversion because the Tatas have eaten away his spice jet. There are internal conflicts. Yeah, 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 yeah. BJP MP Nishikan Dube, who is hailing from Jharkhand, Interestingly stated, because in the recent budget session of parliament, Nirmala Sitaraman heckled DMK. Nitin Gadgari did not, you know, take the question of Diana the modern prop, you know, uh, he took it seriously and countered how national highways are helping. And Mansuk Mandavia, when he held the Madurai aims, he took heavily on T.R. Balu. Therefore, DMK was and put on mat by three or four union ministers. It has been a concerted attack on DMK. DMK MPs are not faring well. Mr. M.K. Stalin 
the leader of DMK and the chief minister of Tamil Nadu should know after hearing P. Guru's, you know, hangout, please ensure your MPs are put, you know, ear twisted. They don't do anything. There are four MPs who are very serious. Baki 24 MPs, they are not at all serious, sir. What is the duty of Thirma Malavan and the other, you know, MP, Mr. Kumar, VCK, Congress MPs, what are they doing? Except, you know, accompanying Rahul Gandhi from the gate to their Lok Sabha, uh, you know, chambers and then seeing off. The, the real contribution of the 39 MPs and they have not taken the 8 crore population of Tamil Nadu people. And my understanding is that DMK should have been, you know, taking a lot of personal interest in solving resolving getting more projects getting more interesting uh, locations like that poor ptr pioneer tyagarajan is storm storming about his achievements but the negative things are not being reflected about tamil nadu negative things are not being reflected about uh, you know tamil nadu in the parliament that is what my worry is there is a conflict between lok sabha dmk mps and rajya sabha dmk mps DMK MPs are into five or six groups. There are four senior ministers, Kanimori, A. Raja, T. R. Balu, Dayanidhi Maran. They occupy the front seats. There are eight first timers. They get unnecessarily you know, caught up. They are not given chances because two or three MPs personally tell me also that the internal uh, problems of DMK MPs. Though for the first time out of 57 MPs, 50 are from DMK and the allies. Please hail Mr. Stalin's you know, efforts and reflect that in the parliament uh, debates. You don't, you are failing that. It is the fourth year the DMK MPs have not done well as far as their parliamentary experience is concerned. And you ask me gradation, I will let you know, sir. Sir, uh, let us quickly go through the grades. Uh, I see what I'm hearing is that Mr. T. R. Balu has two wives. One of them lives in Singapore. One of them lives in India. Where is he going to have time to go and do parliamentary business, sir? And please visit the uh, T. R. Balu's election commission website where he declared the different thing. I don't want to speak it out. He has declared thing. Now, you talked about the gradation. You asked me a question. I will answer it, sir. Yes, sir. Let us go through how many people got A grade according to you, sir? No, total performance, let us see, sir. Okay, sir. Out of a score of 10, for 10 to 10, 10 over 10 is the maximum, like 10 percent. How did these people score, sir? 4 out of 10. Oh, my goodness. You had prepared this. Very nicely done, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that is the this, score, guys. This, this four I explained mm. to you, mm. and this poor is also there because yeah. Tamil Nadu people are cheated, sir. I am telling you, Tamil Nadu people are taken for ride. Voters are taken for ride. The people of Tamil Nadu, especially Erode voters, will teach DMK a lesson because there is a sort of disgruntlement, aversion, you know, enmity because they did not enmity in the sense, you know. My understanding is not the personal enmity. They have been, you know, uh, I cannot explain it in, in sentence or words. Sir. People are agitated about uh, DMK. And uh, sir, DMK will escape through this hero. But uh, if EVS Yelangovan is defeated, it will be a major victory for Edapati Pioneer Sami. And that, you know, Countdown for DMK will start. MK Stalin should be very careful because MPs are not with him. MLAs are not with him. Only the family cannot rule Tamil Nadu, sir. Sir, why this poor score of 4 out of 10, sir? The reason I told you, DMK MPs among themselves are disgruntled. There are 6 MPs who are 4 times, 5 times, 6 times MPs. They are disgruntled. They don't want T.R. Balu as a leader. Sir, Time immemorial, T.R. Balu is the only one leader. They don't have any other person. Why can't make Kanimori as a leader? Or why can't you make A. Raja as leader of the Lok, Lok Sabha? Why only T.R. Balu? He's 80 years, like our good friend, you know, who was ex finance minister. Now he's also in the 80 bracket. These two are, you know, creating an immense crisis for the youngsters. 
first thing mps are wanting to do good job but they are being controlled and you know sidelined by the old time mps that is why i came to the conclusion of four i am sorry you know i should have given them five or four is very high marks sir <laughs> well they should take note and work hard because next time kya bharose right now let's take a look at something else that is coming uh, uh, from you wazirx crypto exchange people have been oh. using cryptocurrency very very, very, very interesting thing sir very very yeah, interesting in, in about Syria. crypto yeah and and you know uh, sensational revelation i am going to have in fact we should have discussed it at the first topic as a first topic if i have a, a three page note by the national investigation agency which unearthed a syria based online entity namely umra maha i don't know how to pronounce it to which funds were transferred using cryptocurrency is a first of its kind probe the federal agency has revealed in its charge sheet and accused mohammed hussein ahmed a first timer first year engineering student operated a crypto account with bitcoin exchange wazir x wazir 10 they raised funds from as many as 20 entities in the last two years ahmed a native of patna a bihar a bihari was arrested by nia in the last august from south delhi and you know uh, and very very interestingly batala house and during the searches a laptop containing isis propaganda material the digital forensic evidence led to seizure of literature including photocopied images of prime minister narendra modi it's a morphed copy modi and isi pamphlets and photographs of al qaeda leaders of sama bin laden and uh, jawari jawahari both were killed in us air strikes the laptop according to nia belonged to ahmed kasin who was one cited as witness during the probe so this all the, the the my notes go further down i don't want to reveal it as of now sir we will wait and watch because things are not good nia report is very sensational some newspapers have published but some of them are yet to publish it in other one or two days things are going to uh, you know fan out you asked me a pertinent question about governor of tamil nadu i did not deal with that because along with the members of parliament if you combine the governor's actions yesterday when he released modi 02 a book in tamil nadu he said dalit children dalit uh, handling of dalit affairs are not done by the uh, you know uh, dmk uh, dmk very well therefore he is very much you know uh, agitated mr governor the uh, of tamil nadu r n ravi he is much agitated he must have a proper you know uh, inquiry the atrocities of dalit on which mr uh, r n ravi has spoke elaborative that is the reason why i feel that mr r n ravi should be uh, properly noticed his versions the reason sir the same tamil nadu assembly passed the resolution against with uh, against r n ravi and wanted his withdrawal because he did not sign neat and the dmk you know tried to uh, portray him in a bad light and governor walked out of the assembly third in the lok sabha prime minister presence t r balu said withdraw the governor fourth dmk mp smith president draupadi murmu and said that he is overstepping r n ravi is overstepping withdraw him these things happened in the month of december and january what happened on february 12 13 governors have been appointed and transferred but r n ravi was not touched why that means bjp wants to take dmk as a enemy number 1 and they have put a foundation in the way of uh, in the in the manner of uh, mr r n ravi as they uh, had uh, kiran bedi against uh, mr v narayana swami in puducherry as they are trying with uh, pinarai vijayan and arif mohammad khan your good friend k chandrashekar rao and tamil sai saundarajan my good friend 
So things are that. Why the three South Indian governors are not removed or transferred or promoted? Why? Because center BJP, Prime Minister office are focusing on Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala. If you watch that closely, the BJP National Executive in July 2021 also said, look South policy. So this South policy in continuation of the resolution, they did not disturb these three governors. What does it indicate, sir? So therefore, PM is zeroing in on Tamil Nadu. <laughs> and now for our scoops. Rajagopalanji, you promised us four scoops. Please go ahead, sir. <laughs> the fourth scoop is that RSS uh, rallies in Tamil Nadu have been permitted by the state government. The scoop is that CPM State Executive Committee has had the Tamil Nadu government and also Mr. M. K. Stalin to appeal in the Supreme Court against the permission granted by the Madras High Court to the RSS or, you know, rally to take out the marches in public roads in various districts across Tamil Nadu. The CPM General Secretary, the person who rattled always, who is also opposing the pen statue in the marina in memory of Mr. M. K. M. Karnanadi, the same K. Balakrishnan, the uh, you know, uh, CPM General Secretary said that RSS had sought the permission and the government uh, opposed it. Still, the court has given in 50 places across states. As the police denied permission, the RSS went to court, which they said they would conduct rallies in enclosed premises. But police did not implement this direction. RSS went to court again, and it has now grant, got the granted them permission to carry out the marches. Now Balakrishnan is in his form. He says MK Stalin go to Supreme Court and stay. It. Sir, once the High Court has given permission, it's a right of everyone. And indirectly or directly, Mr. Balakrishnan, please explain. You took 25 crores on record from DMK, which DMK exposed in the election of affidavit and they got money. So whether it is ideological alliances or only subscription alliance, we want to know that, sir. Equal monthly installment you would have heard for if you bought a house or if I buy a house, we pay EMI to the banks. But MK Stalin is very clever. He is paying EMI to communists, EMI to VCK, EMI to Congress. So that is what Tamil Nadu alliance is only EMI alliance. Sir, I'm hearing that to win in Erode, DMK has come up with a new policy that is every so often they are giving 500 rupees. They want to give a total of 5000 rupees. They have already given the first installment it is told to some particular booth areas where they think that that can swing them the entire assembly and they are giving 500 every two days. Is it true sir? <laughs> they want to give a total of 5000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 the total uh, uh, um, Money they would have spent is more than 60 to 70 crores DMK side for Euro direction alone. Congress is not spending. It's a very tricky one. If you see this Anil Minister, Minister for Anil Affairs, Mr. Uh, I don't Sendil know Balaji. Ah, Sendil Balaji. 10 minus 1, sir, sir. Ah. Sendil Balaji. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minus 1. <laughs> So they are all roaming with huge cash and you know currency notes. Let us see how we take shape, sir. <laughs> <laughs> other, uh, sir, you, you have still unre unveiled the other coop, scoop, sir. Well, we will keep it for the next hangout, sir. Today we are. Uh, you are breaking off. our heart. You are breaking our heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I, I listed out some six or seven which I revealed. Certainly, next hangout, we will definitely uh, enthrall uh, ourselves and also thrill will be there for our viewers, sir. Yes, viewers, I tried very hard, but Rajagopalanji is holding <laughs> something back. I don't know what he's holding back. I'm hoping that he will come again in a couple of days' time and he will tell us what those scoops are. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. And Namaskaram, sir. I'm getting my phrases jumbled up here. You yeah, made sure, me all sure, nervous. Namaskaram. You made me very nervous. We are all enthused because our viewers are showering their, you know, a lot of affections on us and you and on me. We are very much enthralled <laughs> with that, sir. Thanks, sir. Namaskaram. Thank you so much. Namaskaram.